Today's show is brought to you by State Farm agent Brian McDevitt. Here's the deal. When you combine State Farm home and auto insurance, save an average of $889. State Farm agent Brian McDevitt, ready to help you combine home and auto and save in Chicago and the surrounding suburbs. Call Brian today at 630-796-2662. That's 630-796-2662. Or visit his website, brianisbyagent.com. That's brianisbyagent.com, and make sure to mention Sports Talk Chicago. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I want to start today by reading you this. Quote, Tony LaRusse's managerial mistakes continue to mount. Tony LaRusse's bad night is a mere part of a rocky start. Tony, Tony, Tony La Russa has done it again. I'm reading you article headlines from mainstream media coverage on the White Sox and how they started the season. It's Tony La Russa's fault. Only him. No one else is responsible. Nope, has nothing to do with the player's performance, injuries. No, it's only his fault. He's 76, Hall of Fame manager, who cares? Every single little mistake he makes, we're going to call him out on it. We're going to show everybody that he's a scam and a fraud. We're going to tell everyone that he should have been hired. Funny how things have changed a bit. If you all remember back in November, I did a video on why Tony La Russa was a great hire for the White Sox. Put it out on Twitter, got eviscerated, 10,000 views, everybody all after me. Those same people today are praising La Russa and the White Sox for being in first place. Once again, no credibility. Once again, they're wrong. So, whomever you get your White Sox news from, whether it be a writer, a blogger, whomever it may be, they were wrong. They didn't tell you the truth. I did from day one. Tony La Russa was an excellent hire by the White Sox. Was it politically motivated? Yes. Should he have had the DUI? No. Wrong. But you can't argue with his on-the-field baseball IQ. Howard Sudbury on Twitter. For the La Russa critics, some of the best White Sox are hurt. They're in first place, second best record in baseball. No team has fewer losses. Yeah, he's 76. Big deal. Get over it. Let the season play out. Seems like it's playing out pretty well so far. Yes. Top starter ERAs in the majors. White Sox number one, 2.66. James Fox, quote, I was very critical of Tony La Russa in Cincinnati. He deserves credit for the Kansas City series, though. I just love how these people who went after the higher ring are coming around to see it. I'm not even a White Sox fan. I have no loyalty to this organization. But I knew when they went out and made this move, they were ready to move up to the next level. No one else did. Everyone criticized it. It was universally condemned. And to this day, there are people who still criticize it despite the team being in first place. I said this last week on the program. Don't worry, White Sox fans. From two days ago, this article, White Sox's Tony La Russa needed to look sharp early. He has it. Wait a minute. 19-13, top spot in the division. One of the best teams in baseball. How in the world has he not looked good? My goodness. Like Mitch Trubisky all over again, but La Russa actually has credentials, so it's easier to defend him. (laughs) And yet, for some reason, people throw it all off to the side. I get it, he wasn't your guy. I get it, the hiring process was shady. But you can't argue with the -the on-the-field results. And I'm sick of seeing people 
continue to degrade him for winning baseball games. Everyone's in love with David Ross. Last year, the Cubs were six games above 500. This year, they're playing 500 ball. He has injuries. I'm not blaming him. The point is, though, everybody loves him. The White Sox have injuries. They're in first place. They're winning baseball games. And yet everybody finds a way to tear down Tony La Russa. It's just so aggravating and frustrating. When's the last time the Sox led the division? When were they the best team in baseball? Not since 2005. And yet everybody's complaining. Those who did complain are coming around, which is great, but always remember. I said from the beginning, right higher, and everybody eviscerated me. And now look where they are. They're having a great season. Everybody's performing. Best starters ERA. Best lineup. Tony's improved. And I'm still seeing the same people criticize him. And this move. What more do you want? You know, I'm convinced if the Sox win the World Series, he still won't get any credit. Everyone will say, no, it's not because of him, it's because of the players. He was just there for the ride. He's literally in an impossible position. It's a fact. I never understood the hate. I really didn't. If this were my team, if I had loyalty to a team and I heard we were hiring a Hall of Fame manager, one of the greatest of all time, I'd be thrilled. No, he's too old. Been out of the game too long. He's so old school. Guess what? The old school lineup is working. The old school tactics are working. My goodness. This is a talented baseball team. And they have a great manager. And I can't believe we're still sitting here. It's May. They lead the division. One of the best records in baseball. Best rotation. Best lineup. And we're still complaining about this hiring. It's over. Get over it. They're winning. What more do you want? I don't get it. I genuinely don't understand. Has he had some brain farts? Yes. Who does it? And that's the problem. The minute he has one small little snafu, everyone's right there to bring down the hammer. Not like that with everybody, but it is for him, for whatever reason. What, because he wasn't your guy? Too bad. Your team's winning. This should be celebratory. I was told last week when I did the White Sox video. You're crazy for being too optimistic. Now look, a week later, where they are. My message has always been the same. Don't fret. It's early. Experimentation. We don't know about a team after 30 games. Oh, I don't like the manager. The manager's a Hall of Famer and he's winning you games. I don't get it. (laughs) I don't. It's just such a tired old narrative that is peddled day in and day out. I see it every single day from everybody, fans, media, whomever it may be. And it's so annoying. Just stop it. What, are you going to complain about La Russa when they're in the playoffs? 
still, when they win the World Series, oh, they won in spite of La Russa. I made the parallel last week. Did Joe Madden make mistakes in 2016? Yes. Does anybody think about him? No, they won. Guaranteed, it'll be the opposite. Oh, the Sox should have won in six games because La Russa made a mistake. They barely won because of it. It's going to keep going and going and going. No one will ever be happy. And that makes no sense to me. Remember when they hired him and everybody said, oh my goodness, he's going to ruin the whole rebuild? He has it. If that's what you're looking for or waiting to see, not going to happen. And if that's what you want to justify your case, I don't know what to tell you. All of your favorite White Sox providers of content have all told you the same thing. Don't believe in La Russa. This whole thing's a scam. But since day one, I've said the opposite. And it's worked. They're doing great. If you're a true White Sox fan, you should be celebrating. When's the last time this team was any good? Even last year, fine. But even this year now, first place. This good of a rotation. Great lineup. There is no answer to that question. You know what the answer is. The last time they were here... And this position was 2005. I mean, really? Tony La Russa's bad night, a mere part of the Rocky stunt. Tony La Russa's gap costs White Sox the game. Tony La Russa's already embarrassing. Tony La Russa's wrong for the White Sox. So, 19 and 13, lead the division, winning, Hall of Famer, that's wrong for the White Sox. So what's right? 500 record? Is that right? Is that how it should be? All of your arguments from day one have been eviscerated. They've been washed away. White Sox, Tony La Russa needed to look sharp early. He hasn't. But they're winning. They're still winning. From day one, no one supported this. No one said he'd actually work. And I've been waiting for the day in which this would all come to fruition. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have made that statement in the winter. I had to wait all winter for this to come true. All winter. And now we sit here today in May and they're winning. This early. If you watched me for a long time, you saw it coming too. If you listen to the dribble being peddled out by other people, you think, oh well, this isn't going to work. This won't happen. They're fine. Just give it time. When they were 8-9, and nine, I said don't fret. Last week when LaRusso messed up on the extra inning rule, I said don't fret. It'll be fine. And now they lead the division. An 89% chance to make the postseason. Nearly a 10% chance to win the World Series. Shouldn't that be joyous? Shouldn't we be celebrating? Can't we all just let go of this Tony La Russa hatred? He's not going anywhere. If you wanted them to fire him, there's no cause yet. If they collapse, I agree. But right now, in this moment, as we talk... They're doing great. They're winning. Having a great season. Did 
just want to understand why. Would you have been more happy if they kept Rick Renteria and did a bullpen game in game three, an elimination game in the postseason? Would that be okay? <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, we needed A.J. Hinch. Right, a cheater to bring in. That'll work better. The White Sox could not have hired somebody more qualified for the job. Say what you want about his age and how the game is different. Tony La Russa in the 80s and 90s began sabermetrics, began spray charts and tracking tendencies. He's always been ahead of the game. And you can't argue with his success, World Series wins, Hall of Fame enshrinement. You could have brought back Connie Mack, and Sox fans would be unhappy. And that makes no sense to me. They're winning. And you could read all of this coverage and see all of the negativity, but when you look at the record, it doesn't hold up. So you have to ask yourself, well, why is this being written? Why are they saying this? See, it'd be different if they were 13 and 19. If they were 13 and 19, I'd say fire La Russa right now, but they're not. They're winning. So you have to wonder, why is this being said still? What's going on here? They're winning. And that's all that matters. Pay attention to the number. Pay attention to how this team is playing. Watch the games. See the intangibles at work. Don't sit here and think, oh, La Russa is horrible. And they're winning. It's been very frustrating to see this happen, especially since Sox fans overall should be happy. This team is winning for the first time in a very long time. This should be a joyous, celebratory occasion. The rebuild that you waited years for is finally coming to fruition and yet you're arguing about a managerial hire that won't change that happened back in November. Think about that. Think about it. Does that make any sense? No. Focus on the games. Focus on this team. Focus on the numbers. Focus on where they could be. Focus on playoff odds, World Series odds. These are good things. When's the last time the Sox were given a 10% chance to win the World Series? I mean, come on. That's amazing. That should be the story. I don't see any articles about that. Don't buy into the narrative. Don't follow along and say, I hate La Russa without a reason. Understand that this team is going places. They're winning. And Tony La Russa is playing a part in that. More to come here on Sports Talk Chicago. My interview with Kerry Muscat comes up next, so stay tuned. Hey, do you want to make some money this weekend? What if I told you I could offer you $250 free dollars to bet on any game you want? Here's what you have to do. Go to sportstalkchicago.com backslash cash. SportsTalkChicago.com backslash camp. Must be 21 plus. Must be an Illinois resident. You can bet $250 free dollars on any game you want for this upcoming weekend. White Sox and Cubs are playing. The Sox are winning. Great time to put down some World Series prop bets, by the way. I also saw Carlos Rodon at 50 to 1 odds to win the Cy Young Award. Great time to put down that bet. I think you'd make a lot of money. He is a candidate. Bulls and Blackhawks still playing in Bears prop bets. They're still going strong. Will Justin Fields throw for more than 3,000 yards? This is, without question, the best time to put down some money and win a whole lot more back. At sportstalkchicago.com backslash cash. sportstalkchicago.com backslash cash. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. 